If the Great Plan demands it, then war shall be waged. Krokdar, along with his accompanying generals, have established a foothold in elven territory and besieged the fortress of Vorag. Although Krokdar would prefer to maintain the siege and starve the elven defenders out, that will no longer be possible. With my lands being in a state of constant war, I knew I couldn't last forever. So, in a desperation attempt, I sailed Emric's army, my greatest asset, down to strike at Krakar's mainland. After disembarking, I quickly smashed the garrison at Serpent Coast and razed it to the ground. Then, I pillaged his lands, hoping to drain his treasury while moving south to get to his core settlements. However, sooner than expected, a Lizardman militia army marched up, hoping to stop the invasion before it begins. I need to take minimal damage in these engagements to be strong enough for the battles to come at his core settlements. However, hope is not completely lost back at home. If I could beat Krakar in this siege, it could very well be the turning point of this war. Man the barricades, men. Keep the reptiles away from the children. Krakar's about to have a lot of dead, rotting corpses to feed on. If we're to defeat the elves, then we're definitely going to need some help. And we're going to get that help with Lord Croak. So this dude is a total badass. He's the oldest of the Salon Mage Priests, met the Old Ones, and he's probably the most powerful mage in all of the Total Warhammer games. Um, but I'm going to give him some new skills, and then we're going to cut him loose on Riggs. The race against time begins. With Imric's surprise attack on Lizardman Temples, Krakgar cannot afford to wait out a long siege. Instead, he will assault the city and attempt to take it by force. Our plan of attack is simple. Cut off elven reinforcements and annihilate them before they can reach the gates. From there, we will move Lord Croak forward. He will obliterate enemy formations where they stand, allowing our infantry to advance. Under the sustained weight of Lord Croak and our regular forces, the enemy stronghold will fall. Let's meet with our troops on the battlements. You're taking command of Krokgar, Oki. I'm gonna take Lord Croak. Got it. I'll move him snappy. I'll guard the border if his reinforcements come. Alright, he just moved his reinforcement point to you. Yeah, it is over by me. I think I'll crush his army if he comes in right here, though. Quick note! A new feature to Warhammer 3 Reinforcements can now change their spawn location. If Riggs doesn't like his position, he can move the spawn point somewhere else. Spawn point moving to the right now. Yeah, I see that. I think it's a ruse, though. I've got a lot of troops here. Shall I attack the city, then? Uh, no. Hold, hold your position. We'll attack once we know where his reinforcements are. Mac, they move back to B. I'm rushing my troops over now. F dude. You're gonna have to hold them off on your own for right now. He has a ton of troops here and the high ground. I need help now. Uh, okay, I'll see what I can spare, but I, I thought we were going to be more ready for this army. I'm bringing up my pterodons to help and keep your riders dodging. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, dude, his spearmen formations are looking super juicy. I'm going to target them and then you go after his archers. Sure. I'll keep his archers tied down. I'm bombing these bastards. His reinforcement army is pretty much destroyed at this point. Are you good from here? Yeah, all good here. I'll finish with the remnants and then move on to the city. Alright, sounds good. I'll leave these pterodons with you as well. Here we go. I'm assaulting the west wall. Come on, boys! This is what you trained for! We're taking this city! My troops just got to the walls, Oki. I'm bringing up Lord Croak right now. About to blow this gate wide open, baby. They're f***ing. I'm going to form up really quick, and then I'm going to keep the attack going. Oh, God. You see this massive blob in the middle? They got cab archers. It's all going to die. I'm hitting his reserves in the back. He doesn't even see it. Oh. Man, Lord Croak is good. Just did so much damage and yeah, so far did. away. It's so frustrating. That was a bloodbath, though. I... That a boy, Krokgar! Oh, Woo! Damn, dude, Lord Croak went off. 273 yeah. kills. He's amazing. He could cast across the map and just does so much damage. Well, the fortress has fallen, Imric. The pressure is on. We are going to raise the entirety of Max Empire to the ground, that cold blooded fuck. I kind of need to, like, take Cursed Jungle here. Yeah, you might have to fight it. Honestly, I just kind of have to. I don't think anyone's really complaining. 
We're going in, Oki. This is where we make our stand. I'm gonna push up on the right side. I'm gonna push up on the right side and go on top of that right hill. That's where I'll be. I think he's still hiding something somewhere, probably in the left forest. My god, that fire damage, holy crap. I'm gonna harass his uh, things and force them to make a play on the flank. Oh, this spell's so good. Uh, I, I'm gonna go after his uh, routing units to try to kill a bunch of them with the cab, for now. Oh sh**, she's gonna get out of there. She's not, move, move, move. Oh, there's the Lord, there's the Lord, spotted. Yeah, I know. I've seen him in there. He just—I don't have like they arch like they fight bad in the what's it called way. Max controlling all the artilleries, uh, and the units that are pushing you. Watch out! Your main infantry is being attacked. I even—I haven't even been using Emmerich's ability. I mean, wow, this was a good army of his, and we kind of easy. It was easy. And look at Emmerich's health. That was absolute bullshit. Dude, that's insane. Uh, Emmerich is ridiculous. I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. Skill issue. I don't know. I don't know. Skill issue. Wow, we're just, just trading settlements at this point. I mean, on one hand, it sucks that I lost by its capital, but I I could just capture yeah, yours right now. Yeah, this, this <laughs> is gone, unfortunately. Yeah. With the loss of our homeland, winning this invasion is crucial. We took little damage at the Cursed Jungle which made taking his capital of Tiatiqua that much easier. We're pushing forward, doing a lot of damage, and Emmerich is staying healthy. And although we lost the fortress, we have not given up the fight in the Plain of Bones, and we're preparing to defend the Bone Gulch. All right, I got to recruit as much as possible here. And God, my options are so limited. All right, I think I need some regiments of renown. He might be able to reach me. Look at a panic recruit. Oh, yep, I need more. There he is. <laughs> There's no speed. No, this is all right. This is Oh, enough. shit. This is way closer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Damn. Wow, we, we can get him here. No. It's kind of crazy that we've just swapped lands. I guess my homeland's the desert now. Yeah, have fun. Enjoy it. I'll enjoy the jungle. Imric's coming down. But you, I can do the right of ferocity. And, uh, or not the right of ferocity. Primeval glory. Primeval yeah, yeah. glory. I can raise a carnosaur, like, hopefully, a big chunk of carnosaur army. If I can get this army to be raised up before he realizes, mm. that may be able to kill Imric straight up. For those that don't know, the right of primeval glory is a powerful lizardman ability. For a lump sum of gold, we can instantly raise an army of dinosaurs, including carnosaurs, stegodons, and bastilodons. We'll use this powerful army to catch Imric off guard and destroy his dragons. I'm going for it. Yeah, it's 12,000, but I can afford that. I just need a good roll. Give me a good roll! This is it. Ash Ridge Mountains, the last core settlement that you have, Kyle. Fight, 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 fight. I don't see how he wins this, dude. I really don't. We're just gonna pile drive him with Lord Croak. He's got a shit ton of archers, dude. We gotta watch these pterodons. Alright, pushing up for the skinks. Oh, I love them. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Lord Croak is just insanely good. Are you gonna break through down there, or what's going on? I mean, slowly. Okay, no, I was just checking to make sure that everything was okay. Yeah. Nice. The only thing that's taken like serious damage is the skinks. One of the stalkers is getting low, but I think when it gets a little bit low, I'll pull it out. The other stalker's good health. Lord Croak is kind of <laughs> off. Fun. Yeah, he's so good. When he's unmolested, he just destroys. Yeah. The Wait, hold your carnosaur there. Hold your carnosaur there, because I just I need his troops locked in place. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep them in. Sorry. Easy, no big. Break. That was easy. There we go. I don't know how I was saying we were going to lose that battle. Lord Croak's just insane. It's, it, yeah, the unlimited it doesn't, use of the doesn't, fucking spells. Holy f Yeah, because it doesn't know, like... We, I mean, we have no counter to that. We did it, baby! We did it! My plane's a bone! It's been liberated! The capture of Ash Ridge Mountains marks the end of Elven rule in the Plain of Bones.
Without a home, Imric is now nothing more than a marauding band of warriors, pillaging and sacking as they go. It's now up to the combined might of Oki and Volkmar, Krokgar, and the Feral Army to defeat this menace once and for all. Thank you everyone for watching. We appreciate the support. Leave your thoughts down below and suggestions for future campaigns. Also, if you're interested, check out these other videos and stay tuned for more Warpstone.